Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Houston Texans franchise video. And I know you guys are finally, finally relieved to say that the season is over and you're done tearing your eyes out about my horrible and horrendous, terrible gameplay. All the words you can possibly use for it, it is finally over. As yeah, we're going to be facing off against the Indianapolis Colts. And we're going to see what we got here as... um. Yeah, basically what we got is a loss. They're 9-7. and seven. If we upset them here, we could potentially kick them out of the playoffs. That'd be nice to do against our division rivals. They're currently not in the playoffs, but with a win here, which they most likely will get, we could we can completely kick them out. That would be that would be quite sick. So let's look at the standings actually. Not schedule. League history. I don't schedule, I guess. Um playoff picture, league schedule. Where do I see the team's rankings? Stats and awards. Stat, um, I guess I'm really just stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where I find that. <laughs> Usually you can just find it right out the gate. View standings. Okay, right there. Um, where's the Browns? Browns are in 7, 10 and 6. So they need the Browns to lose. The Colts need the Browns to lose and then them to win. So... That's a big maybe for the Colts, but we're just going to hope to guarantee that they don't get in the playoffs just to say that we knocked out our division rivals. So that's going to be sick. Anyways, we don't really have anything to review here. So eh, let's just skip that. I don't really care. It's the final game of the season. So let's hop into the, nah, into the game against the Colts to see if we can beat them. So let's move into it. Second and nine for the Colts. They're not going to be passing. They're not going to be running the ball. And oh my God, dude, Ar this Arnold strong safety sucks. He is so bad. First down. Third and 10 here for Matt Ryan. Where are they going to go? Not the check down. That check down they're going to go to. And Mo Alley Cox, of course, pushes off Derek Stingley. Is Derek Stingley barely even wrapped up? Another first down for Mo Alley Cox. First and 10 for the Colts. And he's going to the outside here. Light him up. Paris Campbell gets another first down. First and 10 here for the Colts. We have a blitz coming. And Mo Alley Cox gets another reception, another broken tackle, and another first down. Stop him. First and goal for the Colts. And fine, sure. As long as it's not Mo Alley Cox, I'm not going to tear my eyes out. Jonathan Taylor reception touchdown. Press coverage here. And I think maybe we have him. Brandon Cooks. No. Oh my God, dude. Opening play, Cam Noon. Can you please? Please just be useful for once. Third and nine. It could have been a touchdown if Cam Newton can actually make a throw for once in his life. Oh my god, Cam Newton. I am going to castrate you. First and ten for the Colts. No run, surprisingly. Oh my gosh. Kill Mo Alley Cox. Just kill him. First and ten for the Colts. All out blitz here. Dude, do something with your life, defense. Oh, the defense is I don't know who's performing worse. Cam Newton or the defense. How is Matt Ryan throwing these throws? Third and five for the Colts. Stop Mo Alley Cox at all costs. Stop Mo Alley Cox. Oh my god. <sighs> Just kill him, dude. First and ten for the Colts. Jonathan Taylor wide up the middle. Oh my dude. This offense cannot be stopped, no matter what I do. First and goal for this offense. Sent a blitz, walks right up the middle, airport lane for Jonathan Taylor. Third and eight. Let's see if we can get another three and out with this team. Um, that's a terrible throw. And oh my god, Nico Collins, you're a god. That was a horrible decision by me as well. I'll take I'll take the credit for the poor decision making, but Nico Collins is a god. Second and four, unguarded man here, and that's an easy first down. Third and five. I just need a little bit of time that I can make something work. What did I just say? Flag on the field. Hopefully it's in our favor. Holding offense and they still got a sack. Imagine. Imagine being so bad to where you hold on the offensive line and then you still allow your QB to be sacked. Great. Great. Great team, guys. I'm going to kick a field goal regardless if people like it or not. It is up and it is down the middle, but crossbar and it's in 62 yarder from our kicker wow it's not like it's gonna have any effect on the game yeah hit the camera that's sick first and 10 from the colts wide open hole jonathan taylor shakes off one man and drags for jalen Fitchy for nine yards second and one for this colts team we pinch the middle jonathan taylor to the outside everyone gets blocks jalen petrie always does nothing and gruger hill finally chases him down 
Third and six. Can we please get a stop here? Underneath routes all over the field. Mo Ali Cox just mosses every... Why is he a god? Why is this dude mossing everyone in just... Second and goal. Send in Murray on the blitz. The safety. And what are we going to have? We're going to have a sack. Jerry Hughes, who had two sacks in the last game and now has another one here. He's basically doing Montez's sweat job for him because Montez Sweat, I think, has only had half a sack in the past three games, including this one. Fourth and goal here. It is up and it is good. 17 to 3. First and 10 play action. And we got. Uh, that's a terrible throw. Terrible throw. Terrible throw. And by terrible throw, I mean it was a terrible decision by me. I'll take a blame for that, especially for throwing a Stefan Gilmore. I don't care. Third and seven. Mo Ali Cox just stop him. Jonathan Taylor. He's always going to be a beast as they're going to get another first down on third and seven. God, I love playing this game. Second and two. We got the nickel blitz coming in, but it's going to be a screen and Jonathan Taylor gets another first down. First and goal for this Colts offense. Got this across the field and the nickel blitz gets in. Eric Murray, the strong safety for the most part, who's useless, but he actually gets in there. It is up and it is good at 22-3 right before half. Let's give this to Raheem Moster here, who's going to get some great blocks, actually, and he's going to be pushed forward for a first down, second in inches, actually. Press coverage again. Can Brandon Cooks get off a guy? No, Brown is going to be wide open, though, and Brown actually caught it and stepped up on the ball against Shaq Leonard. Let's go. Third and 10. Going to want to set up my kicker in a better position. We have Brandon Cooks underneath, and it's going to be fourth in inches. I'm actually going to go for this. I think it would be wise to do that. Fullback run, go right up the middle. No nose guard as it's going to be a fullback first down. Second and 12 against the Colts. I'm going to roll out here and then step, wait. Brown is going to be wide open. Brown, power forward down to the two-yard line. They're not pressed against Brandon Cooks, and that's going to be their mistake. Touchdown, Brandon Cooks, as it is now 10-20. to 20. And the Colts are going to start on offense now. And what do we got here? Here comes the pressure. Montez Sweat. He wasn't going to allow me to talk crap about him, about how he wasn't getting any sacks as he gets one today against Matt Ryan. Third and 18. They're not going over the middle. You can take underneath all you want. Just don't let them get the first down, please. Thank you. Third and three. We could be going deep here. And uh, no, why did I throw that there? Why did I throw that there? We're going to have to go for this. No, we're going for this. I feel like we need to go for this on fourth and three, and I feel like I can get it with Cam Newton with those legs. Do not fumble the ball. Thank you. Third and 11 against the Colts. Going to have to take underneath here. Spin this man out. Uh, that didn't really work. I say we're going to have to go for it again. I, I seriously think we do. Fourth and four. Just hold the blocks, please. Get this underneath. Chester Rogers holds on, and that's another first down on this drive. Gonna give this to Raheem Mostert here. Break this to the outside, please, as he gets basically nothing. Unfortunately, this drive is gonna have to end in a field goal, but now it suddenly went from a three possession game for the Colts to only a one possession game. So that works for us. First and 10, we cannot allow the Colts to get a field goal or any type of points on this upcoming drive. And Jonathan Taylor is gonna start out very well. It's laid out big, but still first down. Third and nine for this Colts team. This is a huge down. We got to stop them here. Take that check down all you want, and they're not even going to basically get it inbounds. This is a huge drive upcoming for us. Second and nine. What do we got? So I think I got that right there, and Brandon Cooks with the first down. Good stuff. Third and four. A big down for this team, and I'm going to take this underneath. What? So, so scripted. So scripted. Let me see this. Horrible pass, number one. Standing in a clean pocket, Cam Newton throws this. It Lead it in front of, literally all you have to do is step up on it. All Mostert has to do is step up on it, and then it goes to the side. Mostert doesn't react to it at all. And then Shaq Leonard, before the ball is basically even released or going there, he immediately knows to shift over and pick it over here. So unbelievably scripted. First and 10 for the Colts. We still have a chance here. And, oh, they're going deep. Do not let him moss you. Ugh! This game is so stupid. I hate this game. How does Jalen Petrie and who? Derek Stingley both get mossed 
by Jonathan Taylor. Not even a receiver. Third and five for the Colts. Why don't they just take a knee? Okay, sure, just rub it in our face. That works too, Colts. And that's going to be a, the game. We had a pretty good second half. It's just, that was so stupid. That interception was such BS. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the season. And I am so glad it's over. We can finally get rid of Cam Newton. He wasn't, he wasn't as horrible as Davis Mills or... Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen wasn't bad for a while. Davis Mills was horrible throughout the entire season. Just straight garbage. But, um, yeah. Finally. And I mean finally. We are done. I'm gonna simulate past the Super Bowl. Actually, I wanna see if the Colts got in the playoffs. I wanna see if they made the playoffs here. Pretty sure they might have. Maybe the Browns took it from them anyways. And yeah, the Browns stole it from them anyways. Didn't matter. So either way, we prevented them from making the playoffs. We didn't really do anything. More like the Browns prevented them. But we had the number one pass defense in the league. <laughs> the worst um, the worst in defensive points per game. The worst in offensive points per game. So, um... Ah... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Let's move to the offseason here. See what we got for the... We're going to look at the awards in the next episode and all the stats and then the offseason, free agency, retirements, re-signs, the draft, of course. God, I can't wait for that because our team sucks. I probably should have traded for a first-round pick from someone, but I might trade up in the draft. Who knows? Um, the, oh, my God. Sorry. I'm sorry for dropping you guys. That was my mic. It just fell off. Um... 70 million to spend free agency. I honestly expected us to have a lot more, but we have some upgrade players here. What do we got? Uh, a bunch of nobodies. Nice to know that our team didn't get any upgrades, but I want to see if there is any development upgrades on the team. Who do we got offensively? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. I mean, John Mechie, John Mechie's all the way at the bottom. How many more? Yeah, he's. it says complete PCL tear, but that's not true. He has leukemia. Um... Yeah, Kenyon Green obviously has a star dev. Davis Mills is, for some reason, the starter now, but it doesn't matter. Defensively, Montez Sweat gets superstar X-Factor. That is, oh, that's so unbelievably good. What was his stats? Did he get, like, 12 sacks on the season? 14 and a half sacks, 25 tackles for a loss. Oh, my goodness. That is, you don't know how huge that is for the team. That is insane. We're going to do, not fear monger, unstoppable force would probably be the best one. But yeah, reach elite is pretty good. We're going to do a reach elite. And then we also got unstoppable force. That one, just that one right there from Montez Sweat is huge. That one upgrade. Then Steven Nelson gets star dev. Why does he get star dev though? Uh, we don't know. Doesn't tell us. <laughs> what was his stats for the year? Didn't he have a couple picks? Yeah, he had three interceptions, two tackles for a loss, no sacks, 71 tackles is actually pretty good for a DB. Um, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, one defensive touchdown as well. So that's cool. But anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.